I'm just grateful to even have this time. Like seriously, both of you, thank you so much. And I've got to say this, I know we haven't got long, but I have to say, you have no idea how much you have both changed my life over the, I mean, I, I discovered you, Kathy, on a Susie Moore call in November Hello. and literally, thank God for Susie. Um, but, <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I opened the window and thank God for Susie I Moore. I know. I know, I know. <laughs> But she, but but that's how I discovered you, and I, I I didn't know you at all. That, and I'm not kidding. This is not an exaggeration when I say, literally without fail, even on Christmas Day, I have listened to you every single day. Oh, thank you, thank you. You have changed my life. You are the reason I'm doing a podcast. And no, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, so. yes, yes. And you know what that is? Uh, let me tell you what that is. Like, yes, I my little self, my ego wants to like go. Oh my God, I feel so seen. And it's like, it's beautiful, right? And I did choose to use my free will in lots of moments to sort of align, right? But it's the alignment. It's the feeling of like, yeah, Kathy yeah. becomes a portal, the door opens and then I can see and yeah. freaking feel there's more oxygen here. That's what Susie Moore does too. That's what Colleen does yeah. for me too. So yeah, that's yeah. it. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. I can breathe the oxygen that actually is available in this world because she's feeling it and therefore yeah. it exists, right? And we just sometimes totally. need to be in that resonance. So let's talk about you. I'm going to throw it to Colleen. She is so good at asking the questions that I take notes and then I have things okay. I have to say. Yay. Oh. Okay. So Lucy, just in a couple sentences, bring us up to speed on where everything's at right now and what you're coming up against. Okay. So where I'm right now, long story short, I think I spoke to you guys before, before yeah. the new year, actually. Yeah. So I started writing a book in, in the summer, but that's kind of gone completely by the wayside. Although okay. I've sort of, it, the first draft is done and I do have an editor, but it's very much gone by the wayside because I started this podcast in February. Mm -hmm. So for the, for the two, three months leading up to the launch date, which was, Two twenty two twenty two, yeah. Which I picked very deliberately. Yeah. <laughs> um, my life was just getting podcasts. And long story short, I left a job at the BBC Radio Two. I wanted to make changes in my life because I wanted to change my life because I don't want to work for a freaking company anymore. Mm -hmm. I now work part time in a coffee shop and I clean my sister's house once a week. Both of which I talk about on the podcast because actually it's quite a funny story and I sort of make it into. You know, I kind of own it rather than go, oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. No, stop that. And this is what I'm doing. Yeah. So I'm working in a coffee shop. I'm cleaning my sister's house. I'm doing this podcast. And so, so essentially, I don't have a business. I have a podcast. I have a book that um, is, is, is I need to basically spend some time going through the first, what my editor's done with it so far. Mm -hmm. But because literally the podcast is taking up every second of my day when I'm not doing other things that I'm doing but lot but but basically so episode 10 goes out next week it's about being single and child free it's basically yeah, I remember saying, I love that yeah, poem. Yeah, I I know. Know. oh my god I know I remember it too I've, I've watched it several times since obviously um so that's what it's about and and I mean I know this is tiny numbers compared to some to the likes of you but I but after so it launched on the 22nd and it's the 21st today and I'm, I've already got just over 4,000 downloads in two months, which, which I don't think is bad considering I've, I'm like, who the hell am I? Nobody How knows me. How many episodes have... have you done in that time? Uh, it'll be episode 10 on, oh, what am I doing? I found glasses and glasses. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it'll be episode 10 goes out on Tuesday. But so, so officially, it officially the first episode with the trailer went out on the 23rd of January, which obviously does count towards the downloads. Mm -hmm. But I, in my head, am counting it from the 22nd of February, which is when the episode one went out. Episode mm -hmm. 10 goes out there. So, so nine episodes are out. Now I've had amazing feedback. I've had people email me directly. Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's, it's, it's mind blowing. I mean, it's completely mind blowing. So anyway, so I've got this podcast. I know, I feel like, in, in alignment 80% of the time. I'm struggling with various things. I'm really struggling with like Instagram Live, although I have put a video up for one of the exercises in Abundant Ever After. I did actually put a video up to, to put my first offer. Um, and, but I, so, so basically I feel like I know, I know in my heart and I, I freaking well believe that this podcast has legs. I know it can make me money and I am determined to monetize this podcast, oh, whether yes. it be a membership, or whether it be Patreon or all of the above sponsorship eventually, yeah. I feel like 
it is happening mm -hmm. um and the, and that is largely thanks to you and being in abundant ever after has been a lifesaver which is why because i've already signed up to have a one-to-one -one with you kathy but then i saw this six month thing i was like holy shit yeah, this is because way the thought of yeah yeah <clears throat> but money wise basically my uncle died a year and a bit ago and and there is we're, we're selling his flat six of us it's divided between six of us and basically we have a buyer and it, it looks like it was all going through but there's some technical issue which means that it might fall through which means that I might not get the money now if I got that money I would just I would sign up like that so it may be that I can only do the one-to-one -one in the end which I obviously want hugely but I'm that when I saw this the six months or I just thought Jesus Christ because it's having that weekly input having that yeah. because you know like we always talk about you always talk about the people that you surround yourself with and I I have counted all the people on our calls and those weekly calls and listening to you 24 7 or listening to you and other podcasts as the people that I surround myself so I know that I'm keeping my vibe high just by everything that I'm doing my habits and Lucy, you're literally, Sorry. <laughs> you are literally like a franchise waiting to happen. Like your look, your energy, your name, what you do, how you care about it, the way you see the world. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I'm already seeing the lunch boxes, the merchandise. No, I'm not, I mean, I'm joking, but I'm joking. But like, you're like a, you are a whole enterprise. Like Lady Gaga has a whole world around her. You do too. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> everything about you and you know it that's the thing you totally know what I just said and that's what's that's what's been driving you thank god right I mean you put out nine episodes plus a trailer that's over 400 people are listening every Damn. single time imagine if you rented out a, a little theater where you live and the guy's like you're gonna bring 400 people you're no, you don't have a name yet and it's like I have 400 people every single time what yeah. that's not normal who who does anything that 400 people go, I'm going to spend the time and do this every single time she puts something out consistently right away. You have proof of concept. So, you know, all this, and I'm going to get carried away. So before I get carried away, no, please do. So <laughs> Colleen, I'm going to send it back to Colleen. Cause I, I have, I've been taking notes. You left the BBC. The book is on the side. You want to get back to it. You know, there's a business from the podcast. Um, let's go back to Colleen's questions because we're mapping out okay. the plan. I already see the plan. Go ahead, okay. Colleen. Yeah. So just for a minute, Lucy, I just want you to feel into this. I love how you're owning where you're at. Like I'm a barista, like I'm a cleaner, you're owning that. But tell us like, what does this life look like that you really want to be living? What would just be so juicy and on fire? Do you know what? It's actually very simple. All I want is to work for myself and not have to get another freaking job. I, I do God, I want to make a shitload of money, but it's not because I want to live in a fancy house and buy fancy clothes. It's just because I want to be financially free. I want to be able to live my life the way I want to live it. I want to be able to get up at 4.30 in the morning, which is one thing I do. I've got like a, an early morning practice, which I'm actually going to do one of the podcast episodes about. Because, because the other thing that I, I should say, the other thing that I talk about in my podcast, and it says in the trailer, because I wanted to make this a big part of it, is it's, it's, as, as well as being about being single and child free, it's also about mindset and living your best life. So that is, and in fact, I did an episode called the one where I talk about woo woo stuff, I'm sort of introducing it. And I've got one, I've got one guest who I've recorded about kind of mindset and stuff. Anyway, going off on a tangent. So basically what I want, I want to make money through this podcast, hopefully through the book. I want to work for myself and I want to, and I want to make it bigger. I want to start, you know, I want it to be, I want to get, Shit, excuse my friends shit loads of listeners and have guests every week and monetize it and make it my life because do you know what the crazy thing is and I can't believe I'm even saying this but it's true I bloody love doing a podcast I worked at radio 2 BBC radio 2 for years and you know the funny thing was I was the one on the other side of the glass looking at the presenter or looking at the band thinking because I've got a music background which is why I ended up at Radio 2. I don't know if you guys know Radio 2, but it's a, a, like a, one of the biggest music stations in, in, in Europe. And that's why I ended up, that's what motivated me to get the job at Radio 2. But I wanted to be that person. And, 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 and as I record these podcasts, like I, I feel it. And, I've, and I, I don't want to sound arrogant, but sod it, because it's the kind of thing, isn't it? That we'd be like, oh, I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, I think I'm actually quite good at something. But I feel like I've had people say to me, you're such a natural at this. 
and I feel like I could make it into something I really do so what do I want my life to look like I want my life to look like it's on my terms I get up in the morning I do my morning routine I come down I work on my podcast I write a second book I, I, I buy a bigger house. I live in a studio flat. I'd love to buy just a little house. Um, and I want to be able to help. I really want to be able to help my family with money. That motivates me. I want to help my brother and my sister. They're, they're fine, but I would love to be able to, you know, be generous with my money and just have an, just be able to like go on a road trip to the States whenever I want and, and just live the life that I want without having, you know, the deal. You know the deal. Yeah, I know the That's deal. That's where I am. And I and just here's I the deal. cry. Oh, it's so beautiful. And you're so beautiful. You you know everybody loves you and you know we we love you. It's well, just thank such, you. That, I remember that hot seat and I was like, I didn't want you to stop talking because I was so <laughs> I was so I entertained. I was so shut up. I was like entertained. I was delighted. I was feeling right. So the thing that you are doing though, which you don't notice, we all have this. It's it's called an ego. We all have one, darn it. And you say things like just, you know, if I just have this and I don't, it's not that I need this. It's all, all I want is right. Um, that's the problem, right? Because there is a, and again, you know, I sound like a broken record, but really it's the record that we need to hear. So it's important to just keep reminding ourselves, right? We have 90, 96% of our, our brain is a program. It's subconscious and it's there, man. It's there. And what it does is it prevents us from seeing what's actually here because it will only select and it will only choose to see what it's cognitive bias focuses on. And so there's just stuff in that blind spot when really there is a different track, you know, when you're looking at a record and you just can move it to the next track, right? There's a different track that's here already where Lucy goes, I love all of it. My most natural feeling is when I allow for all of it, where there's no limit here, because the most natural thing is the infinity of energy. It just keeps going and going and going. So it's really unnatural. And that's why it doesn't feel good because when the ego gets in control, the ego goes, no, there's separateness. I have something and she has something and she's different than me. And he's different from her. And the more she has, the less he has because we're all separate egos in bodies. And that's why it matters how we compare to each other. And that's why we've never want to be more than each other, but there is no each other. There's only the one self. There's only the great wide open field of consciousness. And when we're not a part of that, because our ego is creating, creating limitation, creating scarcity, we feel like shit. That's how we feel because it's not true. And we know it's not true. So it doesn't feel good. So for you to change the radio signal, you could actually then allow this community to grow because so many people need this message. I was just on a podcast interviewing this woman and she's like, I bought myself a ring. I married myself. You know, I'm, mm-hmm. she's very, very successful. The podcast will come out later. You probably know who she is. There, there is definitely a lack of that message in the world. And um, so many women walk around feeling that they're not enough because certain boxes of status are not checked on the, are you married or divorced? Are you single? Are you this? Are you that? Are you da, 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 da? And there are people who feel expansive without kids. There's people who, Susie Moore, it's a good example of that. And you know how many times I've found myself in conversations where I'm like, my ego's trying to talk her into it. And then I find myself going, what are you doing? And then I check myself and go, this is made up. Like she's really, really actually alive and happy. And she's the best person with my kids of all my friends. Mm -hmm. Um, So we know the world needs this very much. This example of freedom, this example of co-signing your intuition. Yeah. It's your life, right? To the point where it's your life and it seeps into every cell of your body that it's your life that you're living and nobody else's and you better enjoy it, right? That that is exactly. not being co-signed most of the time. It's what's the life that, and that's what your ego just did. What do you really want? Well, it's like, there's a guilt. That's probably why this message resonates with you so much. Cause it's like, well, I would help my this. I would help my that. And da, 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 da. it's like, great. Of course you will. That's what's going to happen. Right. Do you think Serena Williams isn't underwriting her entire extended family? Of course she is. Yes. That's what happens. Yep. And the way she really will help them to rise is when she co-signs that all of that was always available for them. When she co-signs in the world for every other woman that 
there is no limitation. That fear is in the, the fear creates an illusion of what you can do and what you can't do. So to me, it's very clear that this podcast is so many things. It becomes whatever you want it to be, right? Make those offers. Is the podcast going to become a membership? Is it going to be outings that you do with these women where you go on different excursions and retreats? Where are you going with them? What would feel so good? Is it events that you're going to put on together where you have different people come and speak? And I mean, what would just feel so good, but your voice, yes, you, you need to be not behind the glass. You've already gone that far, but if I could just help you what I'm here to do, and this is what we talked about early on when you first came on today is I'm here to play a song that you hear that allows you to actually get a better Wi-Fi signal that allows you to actually get better cell reception. And you say, I can feel it. I know that this is here and now I'm just going to go show up for it. Like right now, the reason you're cleaning your sister's house and doing whatever you're doing is because there is no other place where you've opened your palms to receive the exchange of this money, which is all around us. This market, this thing called the market, it's everywhere. Whether your uncle's house sells or not, how about by the time your next episode goes live, there's an offer at the end. And if frequency carries information and you make an offer from a place where you call them forward, these people who secretly have shame around all the choices they made in their lifestyle, who go to their Christmas dinner and feel like they have to answer and prove themselves all the time. But now there's a place where they can feel totally accepted and actually where maybe they can shine light on other people's lives, where maybe they become something that shows everybody that we can actually live a life that feels good, right? And you call them forward yeah. into a membership. Like, why don't we just take, if you have 400 roughly people already listening, let's say 10% of them convert. Let's say you get 40 people who start to want to raise their hand for something. What then? What could you create? And what really stops you from doing that? Because you literally can do that today. I think um, one because of membership and actually Colleen you and I had a chat about this didn't we about membership I have a complete block about what a membership would look like and I have a complete block about I feel it's but again that's the imposter syndrome because I feel like oh god but this is a new podcast I feel like I need to let it bed in for six months before I start going oh and by the way do, do you know what I mean so there's there's that also going on that's making me feel like oh gosh maybe I need to grow my listeners and wait and then um, then offer some kind of membership. But I think, but, but actually more than that, because I could just sod that, I could let that go. It's more that I'm thinking, shit, what would even a membership look like? What, what would it consist of? Like, that, I think that is where, well, that is one of my blocks. That's one of my blocks. Um, but definitely I know that this, initially lends itself really well to a membership before I start thinking hopefully about you know down the line about sponsorship and maybe patreon membership and all that kind of stuff and and whatever else it's whatever feels good to you right if you sold a 997 you know three <clears throat> month situation six month thing and you made 40 grand just to start to get your feet in there right before you add more people right you just started if you if you set a goal that 40 people are going to sign on to spend 997, right? Which is a payment plan of like $97 a month for 12 months. Like people can do that. Mm -hmm. And then you say, well, what would I, what would be fun in a membership? It's like, well, what, what do you desire to do? You just said, I want to wake up in the morning and right. You were saying that earlier. It's like, so what would be the come with me? Is there a certain like grouping of like activities where when they sign up for this, you take them on these excursions and you go to this part of London or you take a trip to this other part of wherever, or is this something that happens, a conversation that happens where you bring in different people and you do the podcast live and then you have conversations where people get to ask questions and then reflect on it like we're doing in Made for Millions. It doesn't have to be hard. But again, thoughts become things. So what you just said back to me was the belief around exchanging and receiving. There's just yeah. always 14 things that make it hard. You have to wait. You have to wait. That's, yeah. that's the radio station that's playing in the 96% yeah. of that subconscious, which is keeping you literally from just 
tuning into a different energy and being able to go out and saying with your enthusiasm, with your passion, let's go bloody hell. Like, let's get together. <laughs> it's time. Let's do something about this. Don't just listen to the podcast. Let's actually live this podcast. Right. Colleen, what, Completely. what, are, you, what are you thinking? Yeah. Lucy, I just think you're the horse that you bet on. You know what I mean? Like you are just like, look at you and just everything that you, you, you already have 400, like what? Like, how is that? <laughs> Like, and it's like, that's with what Kathy's talking about, all of this other resistance at play. So imagine, just imagine the floodgates that are there to just like, like break open. Like it's yeah. here for you. And that, you know, the frustrating thing is, is that on, on a lot of levels, thanks largely to, to, to you guys, my, I have, I have been working so bloody hard um, on beliefs and subconscious beliefs. And, you know, I mean, I really have been doing so much personal development work over the, actually the last couple of years to get me to the point where I've even been able to start a freaking podcast. You know what I mean? Like that, that has been a big deal. And it's still a journey every day, as I'm sure you can relate to, Kathy. Um, so I definitely feel like in so many ways, like for me to actually put a video of myself talking on Instagram, which I did a few weeks ago for whichever lesson it was, that was like huge. And, and, but with the support of this container, I've just gone, son it, I'm doing it. And I've, and I've managed to just tell my ego to piss off and, 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 and just do the thing and, and, deal with the discomfort and move through it. But, but yes, I think the exchanging money and the going, here I'm offering this for this that is is definitely something I need to work on but it is frustrating because I have done so much work on my alignment and I really feel in so many ways to the point where in fact yesterday funnily enough I was listening to it to your podcast with Jen and Sarah I've read um you're about and badass I think she's amazing but I was listening to an episode with her yesterday that I hadn't listened to yet and she was my god she was talking about or you guys were talking about the incredible discomfort of when you make big changes and how it affects every mm -hmm. area of your life and how it's starting to affect relationships and I am at the moment going through that a huge discomfort of changing relationships and friendships and mm -hmm. things that are triggering my friends and do you know what I mean so it's it's so oh yeah you're gonna be molting you'll see you'll be shedding a lot yeah of yeah it's it, yeah. it, it, it's so huge. oh yeah the ego is like so oh this is uncomfortable but then you really yeah. hold for the highest and best i mean the whole deal here is that when you are in full alignment you actually call people forward into their highest and best so sometimes that's triggering because they go oh i've been keeping myself playing small and now she's opening up this place where i can't people really lick, like it like my wounds yeah. and complain to her anymore because her vibration yeah. is just happy and enjoying and that's not exactly. a match anymore so that's fine they'll exactly. come around if they can and if they can't they can't well they don't yeah um but it's 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 amazing that you said jensen chero because she was living in a garage eating tuna fish <laughs> and then <laughs> she actually started coaching with with my with a peer of mine and she moved into you know, multi seven figures with these books, like that is already done. The evidence of that's already there. This could be a book. This could be a movie. You, all of your life, all of it could be amazing. I could see it being a television show. Um, mm -hmm. that turn, meaning it turns into a TV series, right? That Mindy Kaling is writing or whoever else. Like it's, it's all there. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. Strange that things is, have happened. Well, that's Strange the deal. Happened. Imagine, imagine <laughs> imagining yeah. that is the way, right? Because yeah. when we start to see it, thoughts become things. And yeah. so when Oprah was saying to herself, like, I'm on that stage, I can just feel it. I'm calling people forward. Next thing she knows, she auditions for this movie called The Color Purple, which was her favorite book that she had bought a thousand copies of. And she gets the part. And then she gets her own TV show because thoughts become things. Because when you own it, Lucy, when you start to walk with it, when you yeah. start to be certain of how other people deserve to live this way, then you help them become the hero of their story, right? And that's yeah. what I wanted to do with you. It upsets me to see someone with as much charisma and sweetness and, and charm and magic as <laughs> you, there's magic there, constantly putting in all of this fuzziness so there's no Wi-Fi signal and then mm, that's off and other people don't benefit from that. 
you need to be out in the world shining this magical pixie dust. And I do, I do feel like that. I do feel that. I just want to also tell you that what we're doing with this, with this six month thing is really powerful because I've had it. I'm at a place where I see people make an investment in energetic exchange of a few thousand dollars and it gets them to be a tiny bit uncomfortable. So they show up for calls and they take a little step forward. But we all know that in order for, and this is just the truth, I'm the same way. In order for me to actually show up, I have to get more uncomfortable so that I'm absolutely doing, because the fear can be just so hard to to move. So what we're doing is you get another one of these, right? One-on-one, which is double the time when you do that. Really? Yeah, it comes with a one-on-one session. And then we're gonna do a live event. So we'll have a live event plus plus the weekly calls. And inside the program, we're going to take what we did today and you'll be kept accountable, right? We'll be checking in with you. Where are you at with that? What's happening? What's the next step, right? Where, so you have that personalized attention plus the one-on-one. And then whoever signs up by, I think it's May 15th, you actually get a second in-person event. So we're going to do two in-person events, right? It's amazing. And at those events, we do hot seats and we spend together and we swim in this oxygen And all that we're going to require is for people to spend a thousand dollar deposit before the 15th to get in. And then you get that extra event. And we have been booking these VIP days and people are spending 18 grand or 15 grand. And I'm, I'm, oh, we're also allowing people to spend $3,000 that they've already spent towards a program to apply towards the cost of it. So you get a little bit of a break and then you make payments about it. And it's all, it's like acupuncture. It's like, I'm, it's not, it's not the, the amount of money. It's where can I put the needle? to move your energy into alignment. So I'm like, if I charge $5,000, I don't move your energy, right? 11, mm, these women, right? You're in a place where you're like, if I have to make a few payments of $4,000, forget it. I'm making this offer. There's no way I'm not going to make the offer, right? And it just feels (laughs) like- that's a good point. I feel called, Lucy. I feel like God is kicking me in the butt saying, Kathy, enough is enough is enough. Like, you're the person who's supposed to do this. You're really, really good at this because you, I am so certain of what's here and of what you can do. And you know that, and you can feel that I'm certain. You can feel it. Truth is truth. You feel that I'm not blowing smoke in your face. And I'm like, come on already. Let's get the TV show. Let's get that, call that in, right? Somebody's creating that script. The book gets published. Let's get you a great agent. Let's get that Jensen Chero money going. Enough. Mm-hmm. If she can move out of the yeah. garage, right? What, why, what's the cost, right? What's the cost of staying in this place? Too great. I know. too great. I know. Do you have any other comments or thoughts? I just, Lucy, I just feel like, you know. I want to do it so badly. You, yeah, you know, you know. Mm. And the little S part of you is like, okay, well, I can do it if the money comes from this channel, right? And that's what the yeah. ego does. Yeah. It needs the yeah. certainty. It wants to, and it's like, it's all right there. Like, it's just, you already even have evidence of the momentum that's already begun. It's like, great. If you get that money, awesome. But guess what? You don't even need that money to come from there for this to be like, blow your world open. If I, can I just cut actually one other thing? And I know know you guys have got to go, but um, this is nice. I love talking. Thank you. you. Thanks. God, right back at you. Both of you. You're amazing. (laughs) Jesus. Um, one thing I was going to say is that I did off the back of the little video that I did off the back of the one ever after I did a workshop. I had one person there, right? It was meant to be the three people signed up. I was chuffed. I was like, Oh my God, that's three people. But only one of them turned up. So I ended up basically having a one-to-one with this, with this girl called Gemma. And at the end of it, she said to me, have you ever thought about doing, um, doing, doing life coaching? And I was like, um, and I have, I have thought about that. This is because one-to-one coaching is one of the things. Um, so I wanted to get your take on that. Um, but the but the other thing um, I wanted to ask is it, so it is a, it's a, it's a grand deposit, is it a thousand dollar deposit? And then it's the, the month, make, and then it's make, monthly payments. Or you can make payments in like six payments. We can do it either way. But holy crap, like <laughs> you should be going back to Gemma and saying, <laughs> I know. I'm available. 250 pounds, please. <laughs> Here's my offer. You know, yeah. I'm going to start with you. I'm going to give you an intro rate for 997. And that's going to give you three calls with me plus unlimited texts or whatever in between, but you have 24 hours to get back to her. And if that starts to feel really good, 
then you start to put it out there like Susie Moore. And you start to say to other people, I have a few spots for free discovery calls like we're doing now, right? And then at the end of the discovery call, you say, here's what I think that you're wanting. Here's what I think your block is. I can definitely hold you in that. And look, you are in a program where somebody is a really good coach. And so you can be borrowing from all the pieces you go, I like that, but here would be my spin on it, right? And so- Mm -hmm. Why would you not? I say to people actually, when they're in my programs, even if you didn't want to be a coach, would you not borrow from what I'm doing? And go use this, go tell it to your neighbors, (laughs) get paid for it. Honestly, because these words, right? I say certain words, I'm like, go use it. Talk to somebody else. Even if you took like the D minus version, which you're amazing, but even if you took the D minus version and taught what we learn, Oh my God. Like people will be like blown away by it. Right. And then you'll have tons of clients. And of course that could be an upstream of income. Just play with it. There's no reason why I can't think of a good reason why you are not raising women one after another, every single day. And the fact that you're not, that's the Natasha Hemingway. It's like, how dare your insecurities keep you from helping from people. this work. Do you think Gemma's having the best day of her life right now? I think she could have a better day. Enough's enough. I'm serious. I can't reach every person. Colleen can't reach every person. Oprah can't reach every person. Jensen Cheryl. And you know what? You read the Jensen Cheryl book and you feel inspired. You do. It's so good. And six <laughs> weeks later, you feel like you're in the dumps again. Mm-hmm. Right. And so we need to move forward. And then yeah. look, I'm, I'm helping you rise a little bit. Now you create a gap. Now you help her rise. And then people start to do bigger things, right? Yeah. So yes, I think that this is definitely, I, I, again, we, we have tons of people now signing up for calls and we're not going to let every single person into the, because it wouldn't be right. We want to like Ooh. curate the energy of it. Yeah. The oh my we, God, I so want to do it. The woman oh who God, we talked to right before you, the woman who we yeah. talked to right before you, like you're just a good match. You know, she's a, oh, she's wonderful person, right? Does yoga, does travel stuff, has spent years doing uh, special ed, right? Making a hundred grand, but like golden handcuffs, 27 years, same, same, same fee, hasn't gotten a raise, but it's like six figures. So who is she to leave it? Kind, yoga, health, women. Like, it's like, I just see there's certain people that they're a match, you know? And so that's what we're going to be doing is making the match. But um, yeah. What's the start date? We're going to start, I think, with a kickoff event in June. My birthday is June 19th, and I'm already like, hmm, like, where? What, what would be the fun place? Is it going to, I feel like rooftop, New York City, sparkly lights, two days in Central Park West, some beautiful resort. I don't know. I'm, I'm playing with it, but I think end of June, right? Colleen will have a kickoff, and yeah. then we'll start the calls and stuff in July, and then there'll be another live event in the fall somewhere. Would you have, like, say I wasn't able to make it in person to the live events, are people like me who are abroad and for whatever reason can't get there, are we able to be there on, on Zoom? You could probably figure out how to stream it. But yeah. the other thing that we're doing is, A, you can put what you paid for Abundant Ever After towards the price. And yeah. B, if you sign up before the 15th of May, you get another $1,000 off. And you also get this other live event for free. So that's good. And then during the program, remember, you're going to have a one-on-one again, plus these two events, right? Where we'll be together. And then every single week there's these calls. And then every single, every, as the months go by, we're checking in with you about this. So this actually gets done, right? All the things that we just talked about, we're going to be like, okay, so it looks like you did this. Where is the thing? And that accountability plus the calls, because on the calls, we're going to make sure that all the strategy is talked about, right? In deeper detail, bringing on more experts and all, there'll be tons of bonuses. You know how it is. I bring in like a friend to talk about copy, somebody to talk about even more, like going deeper with writing the book and how to make it a bestseller, like, because everybody wants to go deeper. So we're going to do that too. And I think people are going to have such an amazing time. They're just going to want to stay in it. For the next I mean, there, well, there's no, there's no doubt. I mean, I've been thinking for the last several weeks, I, I, I can't possibly not have Kathy and Colleen in my life every week. I just can't. That's no, how I we mean, feel. You know, I know. Like, We're like so sad too. I can't. So, I can't bear it. I cannot bear it. I can't allow it to happen. I, do, I just, I cannot allow it to happen because I know that this is what I need. And basically, when I do do the six month thing, 
I'm going to need a kick up the butt every month because that's what I'm going to need to get, to make the money, to pay for the course. Well, that's what it is. That's what Jen Sincero says. She's like, I could have bought the, what did she say? The Honda or the Audi. And I was like, I'm buying the yeah. Audi because it will force me. I have to come up with $800 just yeah. for my freaking car. So I'm going to have to charge for <laughs> yeah. coaching. I'm going to have to start my business. <laughs> And then she made seven figures and multi seven figures. We, we all just need, cause it's already done. Oh my God. Anyway. Um, it was very, very fun. It's always fun. I would love to have you in my life for six months, spending two, taking two trips with you. That just seems like a really oh good my time. God. Um, it'd, be so, awesome. it'd be so much fun. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> and the women are going to love each other. And then they room together on these trips. And so that not only cut costs, but it makes friendships and it's just going to be so fun. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. I, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time. I Come really on, appreciate Mindy it. Mindy Kaling, Mindy Kaling, <laughs> Jen Shiro. It's a 360. It's happening. You better talk to Gemma. You yeah. need to reach out to Gemma today. You need to let that in. Allow that in. Hey, Gemma, I'm doing I'll it. email her. And here's I'll my package. Her. I'm going to do an entry rate. It's going to be, and whatever feels like it's just a little exciting, but a little scary. So if 997 feels just way too scary, say I'm going to give the first month for 497. If, if, four, if 997 feels like you can do it, say it's going to be 997. You're going to get four calls with me plus support. And then uh, it's going to be a three month commitment or you can try it for a month, but talk to her and at least allow for that exchange to be possible today. Maybe she's okay. going to say, I was looking for this. This is what I needed. I'm going to email her. And the other thing that I've got to do before uh, before next Monday is I'm going to be, I've got to email lots of people to go, can I be on your podcast, please? <laughs> yes, 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 um, yes. So we'll do that. But um, thanks, guys. Thank you so much. I know we've gone over, um, but so fun. appreciate it. You've made my year. <laughs> I love you it. You can hang out with us Thank for the you. rest of the year, girl. Oh so. my God, yes, yeah. please, 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 please. <laughs> All right, to be continued. Thanks, guys. Okay. Lots of love. Bye, honey. Bye. Hi, beautiful. Thank you so much for waiting. We were um, oh, no with problem. somebody, one of the other amazing women from our program and mm -hmm. uh, it went over, um, but it is just such a treat. I saw you on the calendar. I'm like, this is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> How have you? I'm so excited about this program. I've just been thinking, I, I was really busy because with WOW Meme Eat is just in a week or two, in 10 days. So the business has been blooming thanks to you. Um, so I mean, this year, like the sales are already 300% up. So from what? last year. <laughs> oh my God. I have to, I, I, I just have to say like, that's unbelievable. Right. But yet so believable because mm -hmm. you have the vision you can see for miles, right? Mm -hmm. There's yeah. no limit here. And so you're allowing it in and it's just pouring in and pouring in and pouring in 300 was, times. Yes. Oh God. So, I mean, like in March last year, I made, um, almost like 2,800 this year, we closed the books at 11,000. Oh. So it's almost like, you know, 300% right there. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just talking to someone on your, they're in the abundance ever after program. And when you said to like, you know, do an offer and like she wanted to talk to me and we did a consulting call together. She was like, you know, um, all the money is coming in from coaching. Kathy is a coach and that's how she got the money and everyone else is making the money. But what about products? And I was like, coaching is not an easy thing. You have to realize all with the product you have ordered it. It's on the website and you are done. I mean, Yesterday, I only worked like two hours and I made $1,200 because I got online orders and I got some appointments. So I was telling her, I was like, you know, I, there's, I'm not trying to intimidate you in any way, but products, businesses do make money with you just setting it up and just letting you sit there and it makes the money for you. So it, the money is just not in coaching. It's in businesses with product-based businesses as well. Oh my God. It's so amazing. What are you dreaming of next for this business? So my whole thing with abundance ever after and with 
you know, even if I consider going into this business is more of like what I have started with let's come forward. Um, I have been getting like amazing responses from people who I have interviewed. Uh, my clients come in and they tell me they have listened to the Instagram live and, you know, and this is so natural of you. And like ever since you brought up the fact that I should start collaborating with other brands, because I've noticed like, you know, if I get something, I'll make at least five of my relatives buy the same thing. Or if I get go to a dermatologist, I'll make my friends. And yeah. so I was thinking, I was like, I kind of have that power to drive people in a direction. I think a lot of my friends follow you and, you know, they listen to you. The other day, my friend, like she just listened to one episode of yours and she messaged me. She was like, now I know why you are so crazy about her. And I was like, see, Aww. I told you. Um, but you. I think like with this business is going kind of, it's like finally own its own. It's making the money. I have set up a team and I wanted to share with you, one of my employees just started her own business you the see same that? way I did. And she, they did like a, ex, there was an expo somewhere at an expo center and they were doing exhibitions and she did the same thing. She bought three already made tunics and she sold them and they were all sold out. And she actually got like a gift from the organization that you're you one of with one of the best vendors on the thing so it's it's been quite a journey and I feel like I am made for more Ooh. so I just I mean like when I, I was gonna write it down on abundance ever after when I in, joined abundance ever after I did not have 3500 on the side but I knew I would make it so I paid it off in February um, on my credit card so like within two months um, so I was just talking to my husband this morning I was like okay this is the new program and because we just signed our kids up to the private school that my husband good. always wanted them to good, go to good, good so good. that's another 20,000 and that we have to put in um, and he was like are you sure we can do this as well I was like it's gonna happen it's going to happen. Oh my God. You know, you always, um, I, you just bring tears to my eyes because I can feel that God has placed such a calling over your life and you know it too. And this is just literally the beginning of watching the seed sprout. And I, I see you on stage. I see you speaking. I see you right. leveling a room with the amount of love and goodness and hope and possibility that you are I see people actually hearing words for the first time that they may have heard before that they didn't hear I see that in you mm -hmm. and I want you on that stage right because we are so needed people like you and I are so needed Kathy I cannot the women that I see struggling, even if they're working with like corporate jobs and everything, yeah. but inside they're dying slowly and they're only in their mid thirties or mid forties. And it's just, and with the divisions that are being created as we speak with, you know, just, I was just speaking to someone who just moved from Israel and she was speaking to me and she was like, I was like, it literally feels like, you are my soulmate because I it's like these are my words I mean the religion we were taught all our lives like back home that like you know stay away from this one because this is what's happening is something that you know it's it's it like breaks my heart of all of these things that we have been just living with and like when we come forward it's it's an amazing way to people to see that how that we can work together and we can make of the course. difference. And of course, at the end of the day, we were not born to, you know, hate. We are all like, I always say that we are all flowers of the same garden. We just look different and the fragrance might be different, but we, the garden would be ruined if we just keep on, you know, canceling each other out. A hundred percent. And the fact that you don't just say it, but you are it, you embody it. And on top of it, 
the person who was working for you, right? She sees a model of possibility in just financially what's possible. So the levels of which you're showing people the oneness of God, right? I mean, I was having Deepak on and he said, there is no you and me separate. There's only one self, right? It's God. Mm -hmm. And then we, we both get to be a, a manifestation of God's light and that's the whole job, right? So, you know, there's hundreds of, you know, millions of people, there's 7 billion of us and we're really all so much more alike than we are different. And I was just interviewing this woman, Tundi, who's a big Peloton, you know, famous for her soul cycling, her book's about to come out. She's making multi seven figures and she's from Nigeria. And she was saying that as a black girl and really dark black skin, she just never felt beautiful because she didn't see a model of that. And then one day she saw Naomi Campbell and she just broke into tears. And she said to her mom, that's beauty, that's beautiful. And her mom said, yeah, that's beautiful. And she's like, oh, then maybe I could be beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. And then she lost all this weight. She had always had all this weight on her because she thought, forget it, I'll never make it. I'll never be beautiful, right? And now she is the cover girl for Revlon, mm -hmm. right? And um, she's needed. And it's kind of like, my friend Natasha Hemingway who's also a black woman. Like she says, how dare I let my insecurities keep me from helping people rise, right? From helping call yeah. people forward. And I love let's come forward. And every time I see it in my DMs, I'm like, that's a message for me. Let's come forward. <laughs> let's so come forward is something that you, it's your brainchild, to be honest. It's not mine. It's please. thanks to you. It's there. And it's amazing how abundance start like this I mean I think I've just recorded my 10th podcast after yours with someone else um and I still have like I just took Ramadan off because there was just so much going on and I wanted to give myself a break Thank God. Um, good 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 and it's good to get and I wanted to focus on wow meme at this time because I I knew this was supposed to be the best month um and it's it's been it's just, been incredible it's amazing it's amazing and I can see this just blossoming on every single level the collaborations the way the business can continue to grow everybody wants you right now everybody needs you to come forward right in the biggest right. way and I mean Colleen what are you what are you thinking what else do you want to ask her because she's really She's so clear about where this path goes. Well, you are talking to and that's what I was going to say is just your resonance is so, it's like, of course, and, and answer to your husband's question, it's like, you're like, yeah, no, we can. And it's like, yeah, of course you can. Cause you, you know it, like you don't just know it, you know it. And mm -hmm. it's he, like, there's just, it's undeniable. It's undeniable what is available for you when you continue to, calibrate with Kathy, right? When you continue to be in that and you bring those people with you. And it's, it's been such an inspiration to watch you in this past year. Like what, like, can you imagine looking back like January, 2021 and imagining you would be here now? Yeah, it's been an incredible journey. I mean, I just, the way you can help people out, the way you, it's the smallest things that, but Kathy's right. Money is so much needed we need to make a difference when you put the money down and you can make i mean i just you know i was going to share it later but i sent some it was only 500 dollars to africa and now they have like a legit home rather than just living on grass so you know it's something and i've seen that like every time like even with this business every time i felt like sales were going low I would donate whatever I would have on in my account without even looking like I'd be like okay now I need and you should see how the doors start opening after that and you know what else your possibility for is think of the women right because I know how often people think it's either a choice between integrity or you lose your integrity if you have money but another choice women think is either I'm a good mother right or I have a business and right. think of all of the women around the world who have this belief that in order for them to make an $11,000 profit in a month, they can't be there for their kids. They can't take Ramadan off. They can't make food for their family and sit at the table. Absolutely not. That's not true, right? And so 
it's it's so necessary. And then I, I'm right now, my mind is just going right into all that I see that's here. And I see you reaching out to the brands that you love, right? Yeah. And I see brands yeah. wanting to sponsor you. Oh. I see I see magazines wanting to write. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. I love your glasses. I love the green. Thank you. Yeah. It was yeah. so cute. The other day, my older one, he was like, mommy, are you a podcaster? And I was like, not yet. He was like, I'm going to be a podcaster. And I asked, who's the first person you are going to interview? And he goes, Kathy Heller. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I love it. I'm there. I'm so there. I want to be on that podcast with that sweet soul. Absolutely. Um, and it was amazing. One of my college friends reached out the other day and she was like, I was so inspired by you. She started this Ramadan decor business, like just from right. home. Um, and she messaged me and she was like, I just got so, you know, impressed by you and what you are doing. And she made 200 sales within 20 days of Ramadan. Oh my goodness. Right. And I mean, it's not even someone like best friend. This was someone I knew on co in college and like, we were in touch a little bit, but she was on let's come forward. She was on wow meme. Um, and it just, it was, it's been incredible, but I think what I need help with is the journey forward. Yes, wow me was the stepping point, but I know there's so much more because I can see now people connecting when I speak, when, you know, and I have the information. Oh, yeah. um, it just, it just feels like, especially with Let's Come Forward, even though I haven't been like very much active on it, they're still like, you know, the followers are going up there. I hear so it's many people stop. just saying. I mean, yeah, for I me, yeah. I can see for every dollar you've made from Wow Meme, there's $100,000 to be made from talking about yeah. this journey, from just yeah. sharing your story. Let's Come Forward needs to continue to grow. You need to continue to go on other people's podcasts. I can already think of six people who I would want, literally. Yeah. I can think of six people who I would want to have say you already have 500,000 downloads. You already have 20 million downloads. You need to have her on. So then you start right. going on these bigger shows because see, here's the thing. It's not just how many downloads do you have that makes a person want to have you on or not. It's what's the content, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people pitch them the same kind of content. And then they say, well, I'm already getting that content from over here. So how many downloads do you have? That's what decides. But if you're able to, to have a different kind, like Dr. Amishi Ja, right? She didn't mm -hmm. have a huge amount of followers. But her content was interesting because she was talking about mindfulness in a particular way. And she's a woman who's the head of neuroscience at a, a university. So she went on to every big podcast, Joe Rogan, and she did everybody's show, my show, everybody's show. And she became a New York Times bestseller. It's the content. It's who you are. It's who's saying it. So because who you are is so unique, because the voice, because the perspective is so necessary, Let's Come Forward needs to grow as a podcast then Let's Come Forward needs to become a book. It needs to become a book. I already can think of publishers who would be scooping you up. You're going to get a $200,000, $300,000 advance. And the book is a compilation of things you've already said on the podcast. So you're already writing the book. The transcripts will become the, the podcast of the book. And then Let's Come Forward can become, it can become an event, right? Think of the mm -hmm. event with your, your face and the faces of all of the other women, right? Who might be speaking at this event. And the whole idea is powered by a woman exactly like you who built a business the way you did with your two kids by your side in the middle of a pandemic. And you happen to be of this faith and you happen to be able to see all the way you're going to change the world, the way people will grow because of you. That's what needs to happen. So we need to start to set the date for the first event. We need to start to think about how, how and when we're reaching out to those lit agents. Okay. Yes. And we need to start getting on those bigger podcasts so that we grow the platform for your podcast, because those people will then come listen to your show. I mean, and you can also be doing Instagram lives with some of these other people with big platforms, but that's the kind of thing that I can just see is going to happen this year. This year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to coll collaborate with like, you know, even the events that are already happening. I think there's so much needed. And when we talk to women of any color, when we talk about starting a business, it's like a huge thing. Like, oh, yeah. you know, I cannot do this. How can I 
ever be able, like, you know, there's so many limitations, not being able to take the risk, not being, and I tell you, Kathy, every time I, when I started, like when I joined Quitters Club, I did not have that $500, but that I was able to make. And I know someone who is in Abundance Ever After, and she reached out to me and she told me that she just got engaged and the money she had saved for the wedding and their honeymoon she took a part of it out and paid for abundance ever after. And then she was able to just, she was able to make that much money within two months of abundance ever after. So, I mean, I, if you ask me what I see myself doing in the next year is collaborating with people like you, where I can really tell like yeah. how much of a difference can a program make mm -hmm. in a person's life. And how much of, you know, of confidence, like we just need to put ourselves out there. Because like when this morning, last night when I saw that, I think it's about 25,000, right? Um, yeah, but program. you, what we are doing is whatever you paid for the, the last course you took, Abundance Ever After or Made for Millions, whichever one you, you bought, you can apply okay. that towards, you can apply it towards it. Plus okay, anyone who signs up by May 15th gets another thousand dollars off. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm oh, in, let's do okay. it. <laughs> um, and then whoever signs up before May 15th also gets an additional live event. And then during the program, what we're going to do is three things. So there's a one-on-one -on -one session. And then for six months, we're meeting every single week. But what's going to happen is we're going to take this conversation we had today. And mm -hmm. then we're going to keep you accountable. So you're going to get this check-in and Colleen's going to say, or I'm going to say, so what happened with this? Did you reach out to so-and-so so that we're going to move you into this mm -hmm. actually happening? And then there's going to be a live event and whoever signs up before May 15th, you're going to get two live events. So we're going to be together mm -hmm. twice. And I can already see you standing up and speaking at the event. And between now and the first event, which is going to be sometime the end of June, I know that you're going to turn around and already open up your offers, right? In a bigger right. way. Like yes. you do need to be coaching. This let's come forward yeah. is not just going to be events. It's coaching. It's your God is crying out for you to open the door for other women and to start to make an offer for them and say, okay, you know, it's $1,500 and that's going to give you four calls over the course of a month. It's a three month commitment. You're going to book five people to do that. And then you're going to start to raise your rates. And people are going to, and, and the reason it's going to work, Takti's, is not because, and it never works because of what you do. It's not about what you do. It's about what you see. Mm -hmm. And it's about your certainty that God runs the world and he already has covered them in possibility. And that's why it works with you and me. Because when somebody brings that oxygen in the room, you go, got it. Message received, yeah. right? Message yeah. received. Because there's nothing I have to, I'm, I'm certain of the, ma the majesty and the magnificence that God creates. It's everywhere. It's all that is. Everything else is an illusion, right? So if that infinity, if that goodness, if that abundance is already there, and I keep holding you in that space, you're going to hold these women in that space. And when somebody comes along and they drink from that water, they're done. They become the hero of their story. And you're meant to help people step into the hero role that they're, that they already, they've, it's already been written. It's already been written right. and they know it. And they're going to find you in that moment where they can't, they can't hold back anymore. So right now I would love it. If at the end of your episodes, you know, you say, Hey, just like you did with wow meme, I'm doing mm -hmm. 15 minute calls and I'm here to just talk about what do you want? And what's next in your business? And don't you tell me what you can't do. Tell me what is possible here. And after the 15 minutes, you say, this is, what's, this is what I'm offering. I only have a few spots. This is what they are. You, this is how like so. And what, what we found out when somebody is the real deal, right? There's no script. They're like so many people in my field, they hire salespeople on a sales team. Like I would never do that. That doesn't make any sense. That's the actual wrong move, right? Because it's in the energy, it's in the frequency, it's in the vibration, it's in the love, it's in the energy of the authenticity. And if you really are authentic and you are with people, the close rate on any sale, whether you're selling wow meme or you're selling coaching, it's 85%. You'll close 85% right. of those calls. 
So right now you've been closing 85% of the calls, selling multiple items, right? You told me that people came in for one thing, they wind up buying six pieces. If you have a $1,500 coaching package, which is a minimum of three months, so that's 1500 that's $5,000 roughly, right? You'll sell it. You'll sell it 85% of the time. Right. And I think by, I mean, when I saw the, I was like, okay, but I think this, uh, this would be the most, mod- I mean, when I woke up this morning and I was praying and then all of a sudden it came to me, I was like, you know, for this program, let, let's come forward, pay for it. I'm going to make, let's come forward, okay. pay That's for it. this program. Yeah. And, you know, it just, I think that it, cause I was so down the other day, cause your retreat is right when we already scheduled a family um, vacation. That's right? frustrating. And I was like, oh my God, is there ever a good, I don't know if she's going to do another one, what's going to happen. And I was, as I was going through the description of this program, I was like, there are two retreats if I sign up before that. Um, and I think it's just, sometimes I take these things as almonds. I know a lot of people that I've spoken to with um, abundance ever after some of them like felt like at the end they would become um kathy heller but what they forgot is they need to become whoever they are they they have those special talents like one of the ladies she um she sells products and i was like have you reached out to kathy being in her program um she can you know she can talk about your product or maybe you should send her something and she was like, oh, I don't think she will like it. And I was like, he see, here's the problem because you don't have confidence right. in your product. You should be thinking that everyone should be loving your product. Mm-hmm. And that what gets the business going. Um, but I think I definitely feel the energy now to feel, I think we can make this happen. And Top make- Do you know what I just felt? And it's like right here. I just felt this year it's multi- six figure leaps. Like mm-hmm. you're going to be a better coach than I am. And it's done. <laughs> I, I'm telling you because it's like, it comes out of, it oozes out of every part of body, like possibility. Don't say can't, don't say no. It's like, you didn't get trained in neuro-linguistic programming. You just are it. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is how big the, this is how big the space mm-hmm. actually is. Why are you crammed into this little corner? Move out of the corner. Let's go. There's so much. Kathy B moved here. With my husband, I mean, I had a rough start with the marriage. We had $50. Okay. Life has been beautiful. We were like, we took loans where we could. I had a loan when I started my business. It's not like I had savings. We had loans. So there's no part in this that I had to fail. But I feel like when I look around, I it's not about pride, but I just feel like it's never about the money. It's about the energy and living life as we want it to. Yes. And I want that offer up. And I want to, regardless of whether you're in this program or not, because you know how much I love you. I want to shout out your offer. I want to let people know that you're available. So please put your discovery call somewhere that it's available. Yes. And I want to start move. And I also, I want to, because I just love you and I just feel called to do it. I want to introduce you to some podcasters and get you on some people's thank podcasts. You so much. Thank yes. You. And then and thank you. Thank you, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then when you, when you're on these podcasts, I want you to be able to say what you already have. Be very closer. Right. I want you to go on these podcasts, thank talk you about so the much. business you built, talk about all that's possible and then let people know you're booking free discovery calls on every podcast that you've gone. You'll be oversold. That's going to be your biggest problem. I am. And so first installment is $5,000 or do I just sign up? It's only a thousand. It's a thousand dollars deposit between now and the 15th. And then after that, we can break it up into payments. It could be six payments. It could be 12 payments. We really don't, we really don't care. We're doing this to get you so uncomfortable that you build a business because that's how it works at three grand. People are like, I'm a little uncomfortable. So I think I have to show up, but at a certain price, you say, oh, I'm kicking down the door. I am building this business. I'm putting my offer out. And then you're going to make, obviously. No, now that we are talking, I think I want to, I want, let's come forward to pay for this. So we will work on it. (laughs) Great. We love spending time with you. Bless you. Thank you so much. You You you, are such a gift. God bless you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. Bye. Thanks, Takis. Bye. Thank you.